Hi guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my all new updated snoo review. So this is my baby Zachary and he is actually, should we tell him the big news? Graduating from the snoo, he's all done. Yay! And I wanted to review it one last time for you guys before we send it back and just tell you what I think of the snoo. Is the snoo worth the money? What are the pros and cons? And just try to give you all the information I can in case you are thinking about renting or purchasing a snoo. And just so you guys know, this is my second time owning a snoo. Well, if you count all the other rentals, maybe third or fourth. <laughs> But we're definitely a big snoo family and I think we were one of the first families like ever to own a snoo with my older son Corey and now with my younger son Zachary. So we have used a snoo like full time for two babies. We've traveled with the snoo. We've done it all. So let me jump in. If you're new here by the way, welcome. My name is Marion and I make videos about being a mom and being a Jewish mom and I would love to have you as one of my subscribers and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. So first let me just clarify that this video is not sponsored at all these are totally my opinions and I really want to give you kind of a long-term outlook on what it's like to own a snoo how your baby does afterwards the transition all of that so I try not to talk for too too long but I do want to go into some depth because it is a really big purchase okay so we purchased the snoo for the second time for this little one but actually we rented it this time so the first time around we purchased it it's now at a much higher price point than it was a few years ago and although we sold our our first new really easily I think we almost got exactly what we had paid for it because we bought it on sale this time around I was nervous about reselling it at such a high price and I thought let's just rent it and see how it goes thankfully this little guy is a really good sleeper he just turned four months old and he's already ready to graduate from the snoo so I'm really happy that we just rented it and only had to pay for the per first four months and now we'll just give it back to happiest baby I will say, a little asterisk and caveat, I do wanna talk about four months sleep regression, but also we just got back from a trip to Los Angeles to visit my family, and we had to rent a second snoo there because I really didn't wanna not sleep that whole trip, and it was like 10 or 11 days, so it was a little too long to just kind of you know go with the flow. So we had to do that as well with my older son, Corey, I think. Um, so that is one of the biggest downsides, I would say, is if you are a traveling family and you need to fly on an airport plane and you don't want to like pay for um, a giant snoo then um, that is something I would definitely think twice about because we do have to rent one when you travel or else your baby's going to be like what's going on however if you were driving then it's fine obviously you could just bring it with you okay so let's talk about Zachary and his sleep Zachary has been an amazing sleeper literally since his first night here on this planet um, he was doing like good stretches he would do three to four hours in between feeds at night from like day one so I could tell right away he was a good sleeper um, but what I love about the snoo when anyone asks me like why get a snoo it's because this is my main thing guys when you nurse at night or you feed your baby and then they're done and ready to go back to bed you're really done right like it's four in the morning yeah you're done um, you just want to go back to sleep like you did your part you fed them but usually your baby needs a little bit of rocking and soothing and shuffling and yeah and transferring into where they're gonna sleep what's so good about the snoo is it does that job for you so if your baby's already calm and fed clean diaper ready to go back to sleep and they just need like a little bit of rocking and then the transfer that's what snoo does best what i think snoo kind of um what snoo lacks at and what people kind of expect from it is that as soon as your baby is like fussing or crying that it'll just rock them back to sleep i would say that rarely happens right because if they're fussing because if they're fussing or upset like this one is now um then they probably need something or they're want gonna want you and rocking probably isn't gonna cut it so that's just my little caveat is that if they need to be up because they want to eat or they want you then the snoo's not gonna cut it for you. But if you just need that last rock before they go to sleep, then that's a huge help. And that is not worth nothing. Like that is worth a lot. To me, that was huge because it means I really got pretty much all my sleep 
since he was born because I would just get that 20 minute feed in and then I could just pass out in the bed. I wouldn't have to stand and rock and shuffle and transfer. And anyway, so that's why I recommend this too. That's a big pro. Um, let's talk about four months sleep regression. So with both my babies in the snoo, the snoo has not conquered their four months sleep regression. And I've done a lot of research on the Happiest Baby website. I've talked to customer service. They have a lot of like tips and tricks you can do and they recommend just putting the snoo at a higher setting so it's louder and a stronger vibration to keep them asleep through the night. But what I've found is that babies just kind of need a little bit of sleep training and we haven't really started it with Zachary because he was sick. I've been sick. We're traveling again. Like a million excuses. We probably won't start until he's closer to six months. Uh, but I've found that the four month time period is just this really hard, really exhausting time where they are more aware of what's going on. So when they nurse at night or they're up at night, they're like, no, I'm not going back to sleep. I know what's going on. I want to be with you. Um, whereas in tiny newborn is kind of less aware of things and they can just go back down more easily. So personally, I don't think the snoo instantly solves sleep regression. They say on their site that snoo babies don't have a regression. I don't know, both of mine did and I still had to sort of sleep train them. But this is why Zachary's kind of graduating from the snoo because he was sleeping badly starting at four months exactly. And I will say we had traveled and he was sick so that's probably contributed to it. Um, but this new wasn't helping him anymore. Like he was done. He's also a quite a big baby. And so he was like touching the sides and stuff. He was getting more excited by the snoo than calmed by the snoo. So I just tried putting him in the pack and play to sleep and he did much better. And that's when I knew it was time. And all babies graduate from the snoo. That's totally normal. And if they graduate early, that's kind of better, especially if you're renting. So that's not really a con of the snoo. It's just, again, something to be aware of. So if you're considering purchasing versus renting, I would say if you're planning on having multiple kids um, or you think you live in an area that's going to be easy to resell it. So all in all, I love this new. Another huge pro of it is for me, we didn't have to get a baby nurse. A lot of families, I would say in like um, some wealthier areas of the country or people where mom is working full time, hire a baby nurse, especially at night because it is exhausting, especially you have to work the next day. Or some people just need help postpartum. Um, but for me, that was never going to be an option, like unless God forbid, I, like I couldn't do it because I just don't like having strangers in my house. Like I cannot handle it. Like, no babysitters, no nannies. Like I just, that's just the least appealing thing to me. So for me, and I've talked about this before, that is why um, the snoo is such a worthwhile investment as well. I knew that if I did have a little guy that wasn't a good sleeper, hiring someone would really, really bother me because that's just my personality. So I wanted, I would rather pay for the snoo than have to go down that road. Um, so that's been our experience, snoo graduate. Um, all in all, I definitely still recommend the snoo, but I will say it does come with a huge price tag so if it's not in your budget I wouldn't worry and obsess over it like there's so many other things in the baby world to buy the strollers the car seat everything um, and you might want to wait and see how your baby does I will say I hear from a lot of people be like okay let's wait and see how the baby does and then get the snoo and I thought this video was done but I keep thinking more things I want to tell you guys um, but I found that if you introduce the snoo later it's less effective like if they start in the snoo and that's their sleep environment it's great if they're already having sleep trouble and then like one or two months you introduce the snoo it's like another thing for them to get used to I don't think it's as effective so just another thing to keep in mind but if it's within your budget I think it's hugely helpful and great for a few months if it's not I wouldn't stress about it because there's a lot of pros and cons that come with it so that is my ultimate snoo review <laughs> my second snoo baby what do you think little graduate yeah i'm so proud of you he did so good yes we still have a little bit of four month sleep regression to work out but it's okay we're doing it in our pack and play and he'll move to his crib in his room probably around six or seven months that's when i usually do it but maybe i'll keep it in my room longer what do you think so that's my new story. Please ask me any questions you have in the comments. I know this is such a big purchase question for a lot of new moms, and I just want to be as helpful as I can be. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!